Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Floral Tempest. Last episode we defeat Ace, got the 5th gym badge. It was, uh, it was pretty easy to be honest. Um, to be fair actually we almost almost lost, had to revive Swampert but after that it was uh, kind of easy. And she's actually blocking the way right now, let's go here. So we made our way through Full Lugia Forest and I got lost in there. It was, it was super super duper long. But we also found out that the um, professor that Team Blight has been working with is actually Professor Ava and he has Dory right now and he's experimenting on kids and a lot of kids have died so the professor not not a good guy not a good guy at all but we've made our way to I, th I think it's Asta Town uh, Asta Town is probably here we're not going in there because um, it's been blocked off we're gonna rest at the inn with uh, Garrison and Garrison got a brand new look and he has a mega rose raid which was pretty awesome but we need to wait for Scarlet, Faye and last time we saw Dell. He was struggling with um, with Lena, not Lena, Riker, because obviously his team does not do well against Ice type. No, it wasn't even Ice types; it was Fairies. Last time we saw him, he was struggling against Lena, and then uh, Faye has done, uh, gone to do some training to take on um, Ace. Well, let's go and talk to Garrison and go rent a room. We should probably reserve a room for tonight. Who knows how long it will take Scarlet and the others to get here? Okay, sounds good. Yo, wait a second. Wait, business just booming today. Uh, would you like to reserve a room? Not yet. I want to heal up first because, um, yeah, we took an absolute beating. Anyway, uh, let's reserve a room. Yeah, both are going to reserve a double bunk room. I see. It'll be $400 a night. I'll pay for the stay. Don't worry about it, Foltzy. Ah, oh, you sure? I'm, I'm pretty rich. Alright, your room number is 14. Enjoy your stay. Alright, let's go wait there until the others show up. Sounds good. I'm going to quickly go talk to everyone in case we had some free stuff. So right now, like, a, um, a quote beast is in uh, Asta Town, so unless, or well, until they clear the beast, we ain't getting inside. <laughs> so my sailing days are over and I thought I'd be able to finally settle down with my family in Asta Town, but it's blocked off. Yikes. Met this dude once who kept yelling, that's the dire? And the cane? It was so obnoxious. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you think the beast that's rampaging has something to do with the state of Rautra? Probably. See, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I like to think that Ralta is finally getting punished for all the crime and underhanded activity that's been happening here. Maybe Arceus has finally had enough. Serves this region right, I'll say. Awkward. Wonder what type of Pokemon could be causing so much trouble on the route to Asta Town. I wonder as well. Uh, I rooms here are pretty affordable. I rooms here, what? I guess just rooms here are pretty affordable. Though multiple nights add up over time. It's convenient that this inn is here, otherwise most people would have to make the long trudge back to Fort Lugia Town. Personally, I wouldn't be able to handle that long uh, of a trip without a flying Pokemon. Oh, dude, we had to... I got lost through Fort Lugia um, Forest, and we got a Pokemon that could fly, so if we had to go all the way back, I would get lost, 100%, but sometime later. Man, you guys went through a lot while I was gone. Didn't know that. Garrison, Voltsy, you guys in here? That sounds like... Hey, the gang's here. Uh, Voltsy, who's this? Yeah, I thought I could hear Garrison from outside. Where'd he go? Guys, it's me. It's me. I don't think we know you. <laughs> I'm Garrison. <laughs> Is this some sort of joke? Because it's not funny. At all. Guys, really. I only changed my looks, not my voice. Well, he does sound like Garrison. But he looks nothing like him. I got a makeover. I thought it was time for a change, so I... changed. I mean, that looks good. You just looked so... different. Like it was very hard to tell it was you. Yeah, it looks nice. I just hope Dory doesn't get freaked out about your new appearance. And while we're on the topic, let's decide how we're going to handle infiltrating the professor's lab. So far, our only option is flying down there and storming the place. But the problem with that plan is that it puts Dory in even greater danger because we're walking right through the front door. Right. That's why we need to think of other options, or we're going with that one. I suggest we decide as fast as possible. Dory's life could be on a timer. Sadly, I don't think there's a better option. The professor made sure that we didn't know anything about his research, and kept all important doors locked. The only place we could enter normally was his lab, and that was through the front door. No back doors, or anything? There is a back door, we don't know anything about it. Oh wait, I remembered something. In the professor's lab, there was a back room with an elevator that only goes down. He took us into the small room, which is where we chose our Pokemon. Yeah, and there was a lot more rooms that we weren't able to go into. We could just check those. Then I guess we're going through that back door. Faye, Del, and Voltsy, you guys gonna be able to keep your cool in there? Uh, probably. I just wanna make sure that you guys won't do anything emotion driven that puts our lives in danger. 
like a certain someone I remember. <coughs> Garrison. <coughs> hey, I'm changed now. It won't happen again. That's good to hear. We'll hold you to that. I won't lie and say I'm fine, but I can't mull over it now. Dory is top priority right now. Just because he raised us doesn't mean I can ignore his actions. I share Faye's sentiment. It shocked me at first, but the only thing we can do now is confront him face to face. Thinking about it won't change our situation. Wow, I expected you guys to be more hung up about this. Believe it or not, it's how the professor raised us. That's why it's so hard for me to believe he could do something like this. Well, now you get to ask him directly on why he decided to walk down this path. So we're all going to meet at the front of the professor's lab? Anyone want to tell me where it is? It's in uh, Helium Fist Town? The lab isn't hard to miss. It's like the only building of importance there aside from an old gym that's closed down. Alright, so we're all set, right? We meet in Helianfant's town in front of the lab. Don't be late. I'm looking at you, Volty. Hey, man, I'm never late. But we do need a Pokemon that can fly. Because we haven't got... Wait. Decidueye can't learn fly, can it? I mean, it'd be pretty cool if it can. No, it can't. You got wings? I've seen you fly in the anime. You can fly. Wait, do we have any Pokemon that can fly? Oh. I don't know if Beautifly can learn fly. Please, please, please be able to learn fly. If it can't, then um, I have to try and capture a Pokemon. Oh my god, it can't learn fly. Oh, great. Uh, right, this is going to be fun. So I am going to go and uh, look for a Pokemon that can fly. And I'll see you in Helion first town? However you like to pronounce it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we're back in Helium Fist Town. I caught a Dodrio, which is literally just in the grass next to the inn. So that can learn fly, which is great. Let's put Decidueye back. Put you back in the box, and we'll be getting you back out when we need to go back to the inn to go to the next town to get the gym badge. I think Del said there was a closed gym here, right? So maybe it reopens and we get the sixth gym badge here, which would be really nice. Right, so to the lab, which was down here. Oh, yo. We're going in? I guess it's time. Dory could be right behind those doors. It's do or die time now. Here it is. I just realized this is the first time I've uh, been this far south of the region. Though it doesn't look as much different as I thought it would. Anyway, I should stay focused. It's time to end this. This reminds me of when we first got our Pokemon. Only this time we aren't getting any Pokemon. Who knows? Might be get another one. This town is so empty. It seems as if everyone moved out. I wouldn't blame them. We're going in. Oh. Alright, we're all here. I think I can see the back room from here. We'll split up and try to find Dory as soon as possible. We can't waste any time. The professor could be using her for his tests right now. Or even worse, he's already done with her. Let's pray that hasn't happened yet. No promises, huh? I guess we'll find out once we, once we see her. If you guys find Dory, make sure she gets out of here safely. Don't do anything risky. Alright, we should move. The professor might know we're already here. Remember, everything we talk about, okay? You know, I'm glad Garrison and Scarlet are here. If it was just us, I'd be a little less confident about facing the professor about this. They're probably a bit scared too, but you can't hesitate in situations like this. We can't hesitate either. We need to get answers out of him, one way or another. Yeah, it's time to see why he lied to us about his research all these years. Let's hope he's not hiding anything else. Even if he is, we're going to uncover it all. Anyway, we should go. Dory's on a timer, and we shouldn't keep the others waiting. You're right. Let's go um, Let's go hear what the professor has to say about this. Foltsy, take some of these. Ooh. Hey. Hey, let's go. We all know you're the best trainer here. In the heat of the moment, you're our best bet at taking anyone down. So keep your Pokemon healthy. I'm sure the professor won't go down without a fight. Let's do this, buddy. All right, well... Lucky for me, I already have lots of uh, potions and stuff, and we are fully healed already, so it's all good. Oh. Evil music. Make sure you insert those new ingredients. Once we find the girl, we'll be able to test this new batch. Professor! Unless you've found the girl, I don't want to hear. There are people taking the elevator down to the labs. And they're your kids! My... No! What happened to the two assistants blocking the back room? You told them they had to help find the girl. No, no! Dispatch every assistant and make sure they do not get down here. Our priority is no longer finding the girl. We're going to have to wing it with this last uh, solution. But for that, we'll need more time. 
So keep these kids away from the main ele elevator. Yes, sir. You two finish the solution and start cleaning up. Sir, there's something wrong. What? The solution's pH levels are too high. Too high for the human body to handle. Which means we won't even be able to test it on anything. Seems like the ingredients are reacting badly with the medicine. Check and make sure we insert the correct amount. We cannot fail. We cannot. Let all of our hard work end here. We will succeed. Ooh. Wonder what he's uh, trying to do. Yo. No, this can't be happening. Oh, okay. Binzi, the scientist, what have you got? You got a mission level 66? Uh, let's go for a scold. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Aren't these more specially defensive than defensive? Let's try an earthquake. Yeah, that's much better. Right, one more earthquake will do the job. Please don't hurt yourself in confusion. Oh, you're just the worst. I hate confusion so much. Ouch. Get through confusion. There we go. Alright, what next? Uh, Malamar? Ooh, Malamar's are kind of annoying for me. Um, Moonblast should do it, right? Unless they are psychic and dark. I struggled against one uh, last episode, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they've got to be psychic dark. I remember them having like a really weird typing. Alright, let's quickly heal up. Ultra Potion. There we go, fully healed. And I'm going to lead off with... Sylveon. Ice heal, nice. Oh. Uh, your run ends here. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. Oh my god. I lead off with Sylveon, Ballastill type, of course. Dude, my luck would just like... Whenever I switch, I swear to god, whenever I switch Pokemon... I go, I'm going to lead off with this Pokemon now. The next battle I get into... That Pokemon I switched into is now weak to whatever I'm battling every single time. Just, I have the worst luck. Swear down. Uh, Manetric, okay. Let's go into Swampert. I'm gonna save my Earthquake, so I'm gonna go for Bulldoze. Just hopefully that's enough to take it out. Oh, just about. It gets so nerve-wracking when the HP just sl uh, starts getting slower and slower near the end. And that's locked. Okay. Hey, Voltsy, take one of these. Ooh. Okay. Garrison managed to, uh, manage to summon these cards for us. So now we can enter any any room. Okay. I've overheard from some of the professors that Dory's hiding somewhere. If we find her before they do, we get we can get out of safety as fast as possible. Let's keep looking around. Sounds good. So I can go in here. And... Oh, that's Garrison. Yo! So this room is actually empty. There's just nothing here. No secret entrances or anything like that. We can't even get into the storage room. As long as we know Dory's okay, this is fine. Just have to find it before they do. Okie dokie. Right, let's go down here. Let's grab that real quick. Hyper Beam, nice. Like a little school here. Yo, Voltsy, check this out. There's a bunch of weird chemicals in this cabinet. This is probably what the professor uses on the children he brings down here. But what is he trying to make down here? And why do you need children to do it? I reckon, like, Dory saw that little girl, so I reckon maybe. Um. Oh, okay. Cool, Porygon. I reckon maybe the professor has a daughter and she's dying. So the professor's like experimenting on like other kids to try and save his own daughter. That's what I reckon. We'll see, like, soon enough, once we find the professor. Ooh, Scarlet's here. Yo! Hey, Voltsy. Managed to get this door unlocked, but it feels like there's something behind it. Could you help me out? I want to go in, but I don't want to go in alone. Just need some backup. I don't want to charge into uncertainty alone. Could you not give me that look? I just need some backup, is all. It's not like I'm scared or, or something. It's just nice to have someone watching my back sometimes. Alright, fine. I'm scared of what might be behind this door. Are you happy? Just follow me, okay? <laughs> no, we'll follow her. <laughs> oh. Almost thought you weren't gonna follow me. Just to spite me. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Seems like something you would do. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, these boxes were blocking the door. I couldn't get them open by any normal means. They smell terrible. 
Hope it's not what I think it is. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I bet they're corpses. Let's keep going. We need to know what this path leads to. Okay. Oh, down we go. I really want to break these boxes open and see what's inside. But at the same time, this smell is making that extremely hard. How can these scientists work in a place that smells like this? Are they used to this? What do you think, Fawlty? Should we open it? Yeah. Let's see what's inside. Are, are you sure? Maybe something neither of us are ready for. Uh, yes. Alright then. What in the... I, f I think I'm gonna be sick. I can't believe that people would do something like this. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Sh should we look inside? What you saw is best left unspoken. Oh god. I'll be okay. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. Just not good around stuff like this. Yep, so they're bodies. Oh. Ugh, I really don't want to have to go back in there. At least this room smells a lot better than the lab. Looks like we're just in an old shed. There's an item on the desk behind you. Gonna see what's outside this door. Oh, a lab key. Cool. Oh. About time I got some fresh air. Also, was your orphanage always this empty? This place is just... creepy. When I saw it on TV, it was practically booming with popularity. Where did everyone go? Ah, let's go check out the orphanage. Okie dokie. The door's locked. Looks like our exploration ends here. That's strange. Are there still kids in there? It's probably like nap time or something. Let's head back to the lab. I think Dory would be able to escape the lab and get here. Okay. This is creepy, man. This is very creepy. Where'd everyone go? Alright, let's go back. Let's not check on the dead bodies. What happens if you don't check the, the, um, the boxes? Can we not use like the, this lab key we got? Okay. Uh... Yo. So that we didn't find anything of importance. Hope we don't have to go back in there. We don't want to think about what we saw in those boxes. Did not sign up for this. I feel like we really messed up Scarlet a little bit. Oof. Professor won't like this. Good. Professor's gonna get destroyed. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, let's go into... Zork, probably best lead off with like, we'll get rid of the paralysis, lead off with Marowak and just like flame wheel everything. Probably be for the best, let's go for Bulldoze, and see my earthquakes. I guess we could probably use a few, I mean if we're going to battle the Professor in a little bit, don't know what he's going to have, probably have some steel types, so. We'll probably use a couple of earthquakes, as long as we keep like at least 6 PP, should be fine. Uh, Rodon, we're going to go... Alpha, if we can get a Shadow Bone off, that thing's so dead. If it is like normal Rodom. Good, 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 good. Shadow Bone. Sweet. <laughs> Did not want that to happen, okay. Can we outspeed it? Oh, I just got a Sucker Punch. And it failed. Oh, sweet. He went for Substitute. Great. So happy about that. Oh my god, okay. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. We outspeed you, so... Spirit of Shackle it is. Nice. Alright, let me quickly heal up. Taking a bit too much damage. Let's revive you. And then... Ultra Potion everyone up. And we'll lead off with a load of Marowak, just because it seems like a lot of Steel types here. And we can Flame Wheel everything. Okay, so we've got in here. Oh, where do you think you're going? Uh, to try find the professor's secret lab area. Got a shadow bone. You're so dead. Whew, nice. All right, what else? Oh, did not see what that was. But proper pass. Uh, we should have switched, but got a storm tantrum. It's probably gonna have sturdy, isn't it? It didn't have sturdy. Oh, nice boy. Honestly, you're gonna have sturdy and just like make me cry. Can't you do that, Fultzy? Hey, why not? Come on, Charlie. I mean, you go way back. We're like good friends, yeah? Just don't have to battle me. You can just let me in what's going on, and maybe I won't tell a soul. Who knows? Or maybe I'll tell everyone. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Just let me just, you know, get through. The Skarmory shouldn't have sturdy, because sturdy sucks. And what else we got? Dusclops. Yeah, we're staying. Just go for a nice shadow bone. 
Should I bone? Excellent, and one more Pokemon. What's going to be Clado? All right, now a sh uh, Shadow Bone. What's that Shadow Ball? Right, cool. Uh, okay, let's get into this place, and oh, there. Now nah, it should be well hidden. No, I'm sorry, Faulty, but you're going down. I can't. You get to the professor. Uh, you can try, mate. Or oh, rack it, okay. I got a switch. Um, go for a pluck. It's really annoying that, like, decision why I can't let her fly. <laughs> you think it would be able to? It's got wings. It's big enough to carry me. It's got, like, legs. It's got, like, the little claws on its feet. It can just, like, grab me and then just fly and whatnot, but no. Okay. Does a lot of damage, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Mungus, we are gonna go for Blink, and we can go for a nice, uh, Psychic. I would be a surprise if the Professor was the gym leader of this town, as well. It'd be so nice. I'll get right to Mungus. And lastly, we have Magnazone, which we can go into Lucario. Two Aura Spheres will get the job done, so I'm guessing you're gonna have Sturdy. Oh, critical hit, and no sturdy. Dude, my crit ratio has just been off the charts recently. You need to understand, Volty. The professor never wanted you to find out like this. Ah, <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't tell you any more. The professor will kill me. I mean that literally. Oh. The professor is not a nice guy, is he? Alright, let's go explore. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, he actually has hidden it quite well. Uh, what? Oh. Okay, that was a complete accident, but... <laughs> kind of happy about it. Um, Do we take this down more? Only go straight up. What? So we got an elevator card. Where do we go with this? Uh, the real question is, how do we get to him? That is the real question. I need to find what door it is, but I... Wait, this one, yeah. Totally forgot about this. <laughs> right. Hey, everyone's here. Good job finding the card for the uh, the elevator, Volty. Now we can check the bottom floors for... Stop! You will no longer proceed. Whoa. We're sorry, but you cannot go down there. The professor wants to explain everything to you. But for that, you need time. You need time to find Dory, right? We want answers now, and we're not going to let Dory die for your sake. Faye's right. We're not going to give the Professor what he wants. The Professor either comes down and talks now, or we'll go up to him. Oh, we don't want to do this. We'll have to stop you if you guys won't listen. Actually, they won't have to do anything. Oh, Garrus and I will take these uh, creeps on. You guys go and talk to your Professor. Guys, we know this is really important to you guys, so get up there and deal with him. Make sure Dory's okay. You sure you guys can take two on at once? These guys are going to be a piece of cake. We'll be up there as soon as possible. Don't worry about us. Man, you guys are the best. Let's go save Dory, Fawlty. Hey. Well, this is it. Yeah, let's go see the professor. Before we do that, let's make sure we're fully healed. Yep. Save the game. Let's go. I know you guys want your answers, and you'll get them. But please allow me to explain. Rule is... Better explain everything right now. And you better tell us where Dory is. Hey, that was fast. Can I beat them that fast? Didn't I say it'd be a piece of cake? Then let's take this whole operation down for good. Everyone's here. Time to explain what's going on. First, where's Dory? You mean the little girl? She managed to escape from one of my assistants. We haven't found her since. If she wasn't below us, then she has to be somewhere up here. That's impossible. There's no way. Oh, Garrison? Dory! Garrison! Dory! Dory, you're okay! I heard your voice from inside that room. Wait, you look different. What happened? It's a long story for, for, for a different time. Just glad you're okay. I've been looking all over our ultra for you. She... she was in her room? Dory, we're all glad you're okay. I'm surprised you found such a good hiding spot in this, in this small lab. The other kids and I wanted to hide together. They got taken away before I did. 
I thought they were going to take me too. There's another girl too. Those bad guys might take her away too. It's okay. We're here now. Everything's going to be okay. We'll save any other kids that are still here. Nah. No, you won't. Whoa. It's the bad people again. You're damn right it is. What? Team Blight? What are you doing here? Oh, us? We're just cleaning up some trash. We won't want Venom to get his shoes all dirty, now would we? Venom is coming here? Don't piss yourself. He says if he's in good mood, he might not get rid of get rid of you for good. We'll take these ones on the sides. Viger, you take care of the one in the middle. Shouldn't be uh, too hard with the upgrade we gave you. Professor, are you really going to side with them right now? This is your only chance to at least atone for what you've done and stand down. Or are you going to ruin our relationship even more than you've already done? Um, I'm sorry. You guys don't have any idea what my research means to me. I've already stepped this far in, and I can no longer turn back. There's the Viger we know. Now get rid of him. Professor. Guys, forget about him. He's already made his mind up. Let's protect Dory for now. Ah, fine. Dory's number one priority here. Faulty, I'm sorry about this. We need to get to that room. Even if I explain myself, my actions will not be easily forgiven, if at all. We must, if we must do battle, then so be it. I can't afford to hold back here. I'll oh, bring it on, Professor. All right, Professor Avid. Oh, that's a cool shiny dude. That's amazing. All right, let's give a stomping tantrum. Yes, no study. All right. Very good. Uh, flag on. We can go for Moonblast. Yeah, we have the TM for Ice Beam. I should see if anyone can learn it. Because that would be super helpful. Please don't flinch. Please don't flinch. Please don't flinch. Please don't flinch, please don't flinch, please don't flinch. There we go. Woo, let's go, boy! Uh, Tangrowth. We will go back in Alpha. Go for a lovely Flame Wheel. Go on, go on. Okay, it's all good. Giga Drain. <laughs> Giga Drain, seriously? You're gonna Giga Drain my Alola Marowak? Sure, why not? Nice. Alright, cool. Uh, Rotom. We don't know what Rotom that's going to be. So I'm going to go into Hunza for Spirit Shackle like last time. Please be a normal one. Please be a normal one. Oh, it's a shiny wash. That's fine, actually. We have a Leaf Blade. That's actually kind of lucky. Oh, look at that, boy. Critical hit. Woo. Alakazam, uh... Oh, bro, that looks sick. Let's go for a Spirit Shackle. Oh, it's a Mega Alakazam. Oh, the Colored Spoons. That looks so cool. Oh, we're so dead, though. Alright, so it's going to be difficult. How do we beat a Mega Alakazam? Uh... I don't think we outspeed it. If we can, we can kill it. No, we're dead. This is going to sweep me. I don't think I can beat a Mega Alakazam. Let's go for an Earthquake. Oh, energy Ball, we're so dead. Oh my god. Bro, this dude's so strong. Moonblast. He's literally one-shot everything. Um, right, do, do we lose? Oh, great. The terrain stops me from doing anything. Cool. Okay, um, I have a max revive. Who can take a hit? Can we live at four HP? Oh no, you got energy ball. My bad. Oh, we're so dead. Okay, um... This is bad. This is really, 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 really bad. I don't beat this. I, I can't beat a Mega, Mega Alakazam. The thing I can do is just stall. And that's it. Focus boss. Okay. If you missed that focus boss, that would have been so clutch. 
Dude, why isn't Megalakazam so tough? It looks really cool shiny though. I mean, oh my god. Alright, Ultra Potion. Just, just live, just live. <gasps> yes! Alright, we're gonna attack off, hopefully. Moonblast! Good. Ooh, right, another Moonblast. Keep going for Energy Ball, that's really good. Just don't go for Psychic, that's bad. And you got a critical hit, of course you did. <sighs> you, you're gonna potion up, don't leave for another Moonblast. Yeah, max potion, great. If we can lower your special attack with a Moonblast, that would be so clutch. And we're not gonna, so I'm gonna have to just max potion myself. So happy Sylveon can at least take a hit. This thing is so tough. I'm so glad he keeps going for Energy Ball as well, because it's just letting us live a little bit. Oh, Shadow Ball probably gonna die from this. Ow, critical hit, oh, okay. Rising the max potion again, yep. Oh my god, this Alakazam does not want to die. <laughs> Where is my special attack drop at, you know? Just one special attack drop, and then we are just golden. Oh, of course, you get the special defense drop. Of course. We dead now? Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Right. This is so bad. Am I really going to have to struggle him? So it's got Focus Blast, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball and Psychic. This is a annoying Alakazam, man. When you get fully healed. Oh my god, of course you get the special defense drop. Of course you do. Crit, 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 crit. No. Alright, I have to revive because I can't stay alive because he outspeeds us and then the special defense drop will just end up killing me. But if I can go for a sucker punch and you potioned up, you suck. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nice. Now we can go for a fake out, right? It's a little bit of damage. Damage is damage, you know? I'm gonna revive Kurum. I'm gonna go for a sucker punch with Decidueye. And hopefully we'll do a lot of damage. And then we can heal up, heal up Kur Kurumer and go from there. Oh, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Ah. So I'm gonna kill him in one hit. I guess we could just like heal up or revive Decidueye again now and then just go for another sucker punch. I mean, no reason not to. If we live this, I'll be so good. Oh, nice. Alright, now I'm gonna go for because we gotta remember he's got one more Pokemon after this still. Alright, full restore. We'll go for a moon blast. Because I'm gonna get the special defense drop. Bro, what is up with you? Jesus. This is not even funny. Dude is just like getting all the special defense drops. We didn't get a single special attack drop. One special defense, well, special attack drop. And we can probably take him out easy. But no. This guy just wants to straight up just murder like everything. Oh my god, thank god for Sucker Punch. And Por oh, Porygon C. Seriously? Wow. Okay. Porygon Z. Let's, uh... No, I can't lose here. Simply can't. Bro, you're so strong. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I should have gone scold. That didn't matter anyway. It's a life orb, Porygon Z. Sweet. I don't think there's anything I can do that can... Maybe Sylveon can live a... Try attack. Right, ice beam, okay. Somehow I'll live to Sidui, please. It's just 
the life orb. Like, I'm gonna heal up Kurama, because I think I can take an attack. I should know, because he might flash cannon. That's a thing they can learn. No ice beam, okay. Just live, just live, just live. And we can full restore and everything will be fine. Oh, yes. Sylveon, you are so good. Like, Sylveon has easily been one of the best Pokemon on my team in this whole game. Same with Swampert, it's been really good. Like, Sylveon just, like, just tanks the hits and lets me survive, and Swampert just does the damage. So good. Just don't freeze me. Just don't freeze me. Now I said that I'm going to get frozen, aren't I? Oh, I didn't get frozen, nice. Oh, now we get the special attack drop. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, she's going for quick attack, oops. It's fine, it's fine. Taking himself out. Oh my god, this can't be happening. Yeah, it is. Okay, I was not expecting that. No, you, you don't understand. Then explain it to us. You've been saying the same damn thing this whole time. Just say something, anything. Why are you working with Team Blight in some underground lab? What is the real reason you're running an orphanage for? Why do you send us on this adventure through Rialtra? Why are you kidnapping, murdering ch innocent children? You keep saying, you don't understand. Well then help us understand. Because I can't wrap my head around why any of this would happen. It just doesn't make any sense. Just tell us something. I... Daddy, what's going on outside? Was that a little girl? Daddy, should I come outside? Whoa, we've never seen him run that fast before. Who was that? There's the girl I talked about before. She called him Daddy. Well, we've overstayed our welcome. Uh, we'll leave everything to Venom. I'm sure I'll be able to deal with you all far better than we can. Grunts, pour it out. <laughs> pour it out, because they pour it out. The professor has a daughter? Let's worry about that later. He, he could be trying to get away. Dory, stay behind me at all times. Okay. Man, we just got... Just almost wrecked in there. I'm gonna just make sure everyone's alive. Just in case Venom does come with to battle him. And if that happens, then we're gonna be. We don't wanna be like, you know, almost dead like that because we're just gonna get absolutely wrecked. And this way, we can just have a fair fight ish. But no, in this game, Venom's probably gonna be level like 100 and just wreck me. Oh. Daddy, are these new friends to play with? No, Amy, uh, these are the kids I raised in the orphanage. The ones I told you about in the story. I remember that story. The one about the three kids who grew up and went on an adventure. Wow, I didn't know they were real. Could you guys give me a second? Let me put Amy in bed, and then we can talk. Amy, it's time to take your medicine and go to bed. Oh, but I don't want to stay up and play with my new friends. You'll be able to play with them after you wake up. But for now, you need to take your medicine and go to sleep. Yeah, 100% his daughter's dying. Okay. Alright, I think it's about time I explain myself. For about the last 15 years, I've been working on creating uh, medicine that can cure a disease that's been plaguing our family. My wife was the first to suffer from this disease. At age two, my daughter contracted the same disease. Doctors couldn't find a cure and said she would only survive for about four to five more years. I couldn't sit by and let the same disease that took my wife from me take my child as well. So I began researching a cure. I'd, be, I'd been working for about a year, testing any product I could I created on small Pokemon, but I knew that I needed a more practical test subject. This is when I came into contact with the leader of Team Blight, Venom. Venom was willing to bring me actual test subjects for just a small payment. I was reluctant at first, but my daughter's condition wasn't going to get better, and I needed to save her. Her well-being was the only thing in my mind. I took the deal, had to save my daughter at all costs, and I thought that maybe a few children would be enough to test my medicine on. But failure after failure kept me coming back to Venom for more test subjects. Eventually, I ran out of the funds to pay Venom, and now here I am. Other subjects with just one last serum to try on my daughter. What about the orphanage? Did you just run one just to get more test subjects? Arceus, no. I would never do something like that. Before at least, my wife loved children and always wanted to be around them. So we decided to build an orphanage together. It took a long time for the orphanage to get to how big it is today. We went around finding children without parents and or a family and took them into the orphanage. We even registered the orphanage with the region police so any lost children are instantly sent to us. You three were the first we took in. So we weren't kidnapped by Team Blight? Absolutely not. You and a few other children were the reason we built the orphanage in the first place. Just never expected life to hit me this hard. Never thought I'd have to take this path. But for my daughter's sake, it seemed like I had no choice. You were desperate. Precisely. 
This doesn't excuse what you've done to these poor kids. They want to live a normal life and you took that from them. Yeah, your story is sad and all, but many children's lives were lost because of your actions. I know. I don't expect your forgiveness. I don't expect any forgiveness, actually. I just... I couldn't sit by and let life just take my little girl away from me. I had to do something. And Venom's offer seemed like the best decision. Now I've been stripped away of everything. My daughter is still not healed. So, what's going to happen to Amy now? Yeah, we can't just let you continue what, what, what you were doing down here. Yes, I'm aware of that. I hope when she wakes up, I'll give her the final medicine that my assistants and I could come up with and pray to the gods that it works on her. Or accept any punishment as long as my girl gets to live, as, live life as normal as a normal girl. Seems like it's my only choice now. You already run out of choices, Vigor. Ooh, what? It's my turn to make decisions now. Oh, Venom. What's wrong, Vigor? You look pale. Nothing like your usual demeanor? Or are you afraid to show what, that side to your darling kids here? Venom, you strip me drive everything I have. Just give me some time to collect. Vigor, Vigor, Vigor. You always seem to be the one requesting things. Have you ever stopped and thought about how greedy you've become? We had a deal, and you ruined it. Now, I'm going to show you what happens when you run out of time. As far as for you guys, Team- Ooh, is that his face? No, it can't be his face, right? Anyway, Team Blight will no longer tolerate any interference. My path to supreme ruler of this world will not be stunted because some kids want to play heroes with my business. Once I gather all the legendary mythical Pokemon and siphon their power, Small nuisances like you all won't be able to even stand up before me. Think we're just gonna sit by and let that happen? We won't let Team Blight get away with anything as long as we're as, well, as long as we're around. Don't underestimate us. We're not gonna let you destroy Rautra your, for your benefit. <laughs> so naive. You know nothing of Rautra truly is. Such a shame you all decide to walk into this room together. Otherwise, I'd be able to educate you on how twisted Rautra can truly be. What do you mean by, Vigil? Your services will no longer be needed. But don't worry, you dying here won't be in vain. Actually, your death and all the others here will serve as an example to future cooperators. Venom, please, I just need time. Your time was up long ago, Vigor. I assume you all know the guardian of this region, correct? The legendary Pokemon Shaman? Shaman has the ability to purify any polluted area by absorbing the pollution and purifying it within its body. After purifying it, it releases the purified air and its power creates fields of lush green grass. Now, if I were to harness this power of Shaman, and decide not to purify the polluted air, what would happen? No. There's no way. Venom, no. As I've said before, walking into the room has sealed your fates. Maybe in your next life, you'll listen to those who give you simple instructions. If only your daughter had a more competent father. Goodbye, Avit. Guys, we need to get out of here. It's no use, the door won't budge. Oh, I've got an idea. Haxorus, try to bust the door down. It's no use, there's something blocking the door. Professor, is there any other exit in this room? No. Then we need to do something or else we'll die here. Garrison, I'm scared. Dora, stay with me. Everything is gonna be fine. Guys, is, is anyone else getting... Uh oh, Faye? Guys, what happened to Faye? She's passed out. It's getting hard to breathe. Guys, cover your mouths. I'll try to get the door. Amy, I can't lose you. Not here. Amy, please. I can't lose you. Oh, snap. Oh. Jirachi, what? Wake up. Guys, he's waking up. Oh, thank Arceus. We all thought you were gone. It's a miracle we were able to get out. After we woke up, all the gas disappeared and the door wasn't blocked anymore. Are you feeling okay? You've been out for quite a while. Uh, yeah. That's good news. Well, at least we didn't lose any, uh, didn't lose another today. It's okay, Scarlet. He was going to find out sooner or later. Thought you should go talk to the professor. He's still inside the room with his daughter. He, he said he wanted to speak with you when you woke up. He told us he's going to turn himself in and, and and to call the police. Okay. So he's done running and hiding. You can rest for a bit if you want. Then go see the professor. I'm going to wait for the police. Okay. Yo. She's she's gone, Voltsy. The spores. That venom released here was strong enough to kill my daughter. This is all my fault. I've lost everything that I've worked for. I've lost the trust you three had for me. Most importantly, I've lost my daughter. I knew this reality was possible, but I kept trying to run from it. My actions do not deserve any type of sympathy. Everything that has happened today is my fault alone. Through greed and des desperation, I gambled on my daughter's life by agreeing to work with criminals. Then when I couldn't uphold my end of the deal, 
They took the closest thing from me. Falsely, if there's one thing left you can do for me? No, not for me. For me. Please avenge my daughter's life. Not for my sake, or my sister's sake, but for my innocent daughter, who has suffered today more than anyone. This is selfish of me, but I'd like to give you a gift. I'm not going to force you to use it, if you don't want to. But as your professor and caretaker, I want you to give you one last parting gift. Ooh, a shiny charm. May not be much, but it's something. I told Faye to call the region police here. There's not much I can do at this point. All the information about me is out. Just hope that all of you get to live uh, live fulfilling lives and not make the same choices I have. I'm sorry that I lied to you, Faye and Dale, for all these years. I'd like to be alone with my daughter till the police comes. Please allow me to have one final moment with her. Okay. Man, my voice is going. Did you talk to the professor? Hope he's going to be okay. He lost a lot today. Garrison, Scarlet, and Dory already went outside. They said they wanted to get Dory to safety and explain the situation to the police. We should go outside as well. Let's tell the professor. No need. Your friends outside already explained the situation to me. Just want to make sure you were all okay. Yeah, we're fine. If you're looking for the professor, he's... Oh, snap! A gun? Don't tell me he... Oh, wow. Make sure there aren't any more scientists still running around in the lab. You guys take all the scientists we already found to the island. Hopefully we're able to get some answers. Yes, sir. You guys did an amazing job. We're glad all of you came out okay. After what you, do, what, after what you all told me, not many people your age can do what all of you did today. You were thrown into a scary situation and tried the best you could. We're sorry about what happened to the professor and his little girl. For the time being, I'm going to put this town on lockdown as well as the orphanage. If you guys have any questions, now's the time to ask. What island were you taking, talking about earlier? Oh, that. We just have an island set up far away out from this region. It's where we take wrongdoers and the like. When we take the scientists there and interrogate them for information. If they decide to talk, then maybe we can do something about Team Blight. Until then, we've just got to do what we can. What we can. I guess so. Anyway, like I said before, you all did well today. I know what you guys saw was traumatizing. Not many people in your shoes would even attempt to infiltrate a dangerous situation like this. I'm gonna get back, get back in there and help out the others. I'll give you all time talk for. I'll give you all time talk for a bit. Okay. Make sure this place is empty afterwards. You can leave the place free of people in case we get into more trouble. Is everyone okay? You wouldn't blame me if you weren't. I can't believe he, he would just do that to himself. I think this is all a game. They can just play around with others' lives like that. They probably don't even feel like they've done anything wrong. They're so out of touch with reality that they'd be willing to just kill anyone they feel like. They can't get away with this. Dale's right. Team Blight took two lives today. They'll probably take more if given the chance. Guys, let's not talk about this in front of Dory. Good idea, Garrison. What do you do about Dory? I'm gonna I'm going to get Dory back to Lilium City. I'm gonna stay with her for a bit. Probably until her father comes back to visit her. Yeah, we won't want anything to happen to her again. Came a long way to save her. Better put in 100% to keep her safe. You can bet on that. I'll see you guys around. Be careful. I won't be so weak next time. I'll make sure to get strong so that my Pokemon and I can protect ourselves. We'll look forward to it. Stay safe, Dory. I will. Thanks for helping me today. See ya. Faye, you okay? You still look like you're tearing up. He was like a dad to us and he's just gone. If he went to prison, at least I would know he was safe. But he's just... All of, this, uh, all of this is Team Blight's fault. Professor had no choices left. Just saying, kid killers in prison don't end up that safe, mate. <laughs> I know, but it's just, you didn't have to just leave us. Aren't you sad, Dale? Of course I'm sad. But as long as Team Blight is out there, I, I just can't just keep crying. I've been going about this whole situation the wrong way. Didn't realize how serious they were until I had to lose someone close to me. I can't be the chill, relaxed guy anymore. I want to do something. I don't want to sit back and watch things happen. I just just want things to change. I do too. My sister used to always say, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Whenever I would cry about something when I was younger, she would tell me to get up and do something about it. That's why I wanted to be a vigilante for Mary Marigold City. I thought that maybe I could be the one to change Marigold and get rid of all the bad stuff like the gangs and stealing. So as you can see, that didn't turn out so well. What I'm saying is that you can't just let life drag you along. If Ina was here, she'd say get up and do something. I'm sorry if I sound inconsiderate. I understand how much the professor meant to you guys. 
Nah, you're right, Scarlet. Team Blight won't drag us around anymore. I want to see another person die because of them. I don't either. I just... I don't want to see another scene like that again. But at the same time, no offence, I don't want to end up like Garrison did back in Marigold. I don't want to become a liability, so I'll do my best to get stronger. That's the spirit. If we want to take down Team Blight, we can't dwell on our mistakes too much. Then let's decide our next plan. Well, Venom talked about trying to find legendary Pokemon. Yeah, apparently they already found Shaman. Don't know where any of the Pokemon are, so we're lost. Well, we could just go and explore everywhere, but there's no guarantee we'd find, find them like that. What if we just continue how we've been going on for now? We run into Team Blight in every city we've been in. So if we continue going the same way we have, we'll eventually run into them doing something they shouldn't. You're right, but how do we know they won't go back and double check the places they've already been at? Then maybe whoever has time could just do a quick rundown of the side of the region. There are a lot of places we couldn't check out before, so maybe one of us could go check those places out. We probably could run into Team Blight in that way. I could. I'm not in any rush. I could debrief Garrison about the whole plan if he decides to join us. Also, it would give me time to cool my head and come to terms with the uh, Professor's death. I could even let Garrison know about what we're doing. Maybe once Dory's father shows up, he could join us. Good idea, because the next locations are Magnolia City or Aster Town. We could check out one of those places next. Gonna have to go back and go back and take on the Fulukia City Gym. Jeez, Del, could you be any slower? <laughs> I think this gym took way too long for me to deal with. Really hope the next one isn't nearly as hard as she was. Voltsy, uh, looks like we're gonna gonna go to Magnolia City or Aster Town alone for now. Wanna go check up on Lena? I haven't seen her in a while. We'll catch up in the meantime, so don't get too excited and do something rash, rash without us. Or maybe go ahead and do it. You're strong enough to take care of yourself. Gonna go ahead, go on ahead. Remember not to stick around too much. The police wants this place cleared. Oh man, my, oh, I'm sorry, my voice is gone. I'm trying to get through this as quick as possible because I'm losing my voice. Everyone okay? It's a little bit te teary-eyed, but I'll be okay. Just feel so bad for the professor, but even worse for Amy. The deserved happiness that got everything taken away from them. Team Blight just targets the weak. The people who are desperate for anything. Imagine how many more people they're draining money from. Other people who are suffering just like him. As much as I wish this was over, this isn't going to end unless we do something. And if there's anyone who can, can end it, it's us. You're right, let's do this for Amy and the Professor. Let's split. I'll see you guys around. Guys, be careful. Don't worry too much about me. I'll be fine, guys. Alright, so I guess we end this part right here, and next episode we... As the town here is um, it's not showing up on the map, so I'm guessing it's not made yet. So I'm guessing we probably want to go back here to the inn and go to Magnolia City. Get the 7th sixth gym badge. Probably get Surf. Go down here. Probably can't Surf down this way. Probably have to go Surf from here. Or maybe take a boat and then get to uh, Pavora Island. Well, that could actually be the island where they take the the uh, prisoners. But anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.